with Bowie, what did you feel like the the weaknesses of the rumble fish were for you? Mm -hmm. So the biggest weakness was definitely when I was riding smooth uh, cross-country trails on local trails um, where there were no technical issues and um, the bicycle didn't handle as uh, well as I was expecting because the bicycle cannot go really fast on the smooth trails. Um, it's just the way that when you even pedal faster it still feels good but you can feel especially in the turns that you are missing that speed to handle the turn a little bit better it was a little bit more wobbly when you are taking turns when i was taking turns um and i think that, that that's just because of the speed so definitely the weakness was that you cannot gain a lot of speed or gain fast speed on the local um on the smooth trails on the smooth cross-country trails Uh, it's very nice that uh, you can flip the switch. It's very easy to reach it. So that was very comfortable. The problem is if you like to carry a bottle with you, there is absolutely no way how you can access the switch. So I always had to fight and had to take a few seconds to find the switch and flip it backwards. So that was kind of annoying and especially for somebody who liked to carry a bottle. But you know, usually the trail riders, they just have the little pack with them, so that will fix the problem. Um, it's just for me, because I like to carry bottle with me. Um, one other thing that I didn't really like as a part of the, the bicycle is that it has three chain rings in the front and uh, I'm used to two of them in the front. What was, uh, it was causing a lot of problems for me when I was going up the hill and uh, switching gears and suddenly I was in the middle chain, mi middle ring in the front and I already ran out of rings in the back. I'll suddenly think about switching to the smaller one and switching to different gear in the back. So that was kind of not that that was not a happy solution for me I would rather see two chain rings in the front what I loved about it were the brakes they were very very good they were super awesome the entire system is very quiet when you are going down the hills no distractions you can just focus on your ride you can just be alone in the woods and uh, no banging against the chain stays so that was really nice This bicycle definitely belongs on the trails with rocks and roots and um, nothing super flowy because when you will have the flowy trail you might be again kind of disappointed that it doesn't go as fast as you want if you need to pedal but if you are on the um, mountainy rugged trails oh my gosh this is so awesome especially on the downhills the bike just rolls over everything whatever you you comes uh, whatever comes to your uh, path you don't even really have to think about it you can just roll over it and uh, the bicycle is very giving um, corrects a lot of your mistakes you can be very confident especially with the combination um, of the seat dropper seat post um, that was the most fun actually when I took the bicycle on the technical rocky rooty trails and that's where it belongs it's not a cross-country bike it's definitely a bike which is going to make you super smile and super happy on the rugged trails <laughs>